here. I am present Hazel reporting for reporting for stream. I'm going to turn the World of Warcraft on and that's going to make that black screen go away, so don't you worry about that. And I should also probably load up um, chat so I can see what you guys are saying. That's probably a good idea. Let's see here. Got a mic over here. I have a cat that wants up on my lap. How do you always... I mean, I know you know that I'm streaming because I'm talking. I don't talk that much if I'm not streaming. Sometimes. Mostly to the fish. Alright, here we are. Uh, do, do, do. Pop out. Which is bringing my chat window over here. There we go. Hey, guys. Happy Tuesday. What's up, Eric Ephemeris? Gia? Hazel? Wait, no, that's me. Hi, I'm Hazel. Void Presence Martin. Motor Daffodil. How you guys all doing? <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. I'm here. I'm awake. <laughs> I have put on socks and I've made tea. And hi, Ken. Hi. All right. Oh, no, that's too big. That's too big. That's, that's all me. I, still, I can't see you guys now. So, welcome to our Tuesday morning Mount Run stream. I hope that, yeah, I did that yesterday. Good. <laughs> it does, in fact, say Mount Run. That's a good start. Hi, cat. This is my kitty. Her name is Kira, but we just call her cat. If I ever get a second cat, it's going to be very confusing. Uh, Queen Hazel, you look radiant today. Why, that's so flattering. Thank you. I don't believe you, but thank you. Uh, I'm at work. I hope that you guys have an awesome day at work. Being super sneaky watching your stream at work. Feeling better? I am feeling better, yeah. I had a, I had a couple of rough days, but I'm, I think I'm back in fighting shape now. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. Um, so we're doing... Oh, kitty, you laying down? Is that happening? I haven't adjusted this yet, so I might need to move it. You can't have my tea. You can't have my tea. You can't drink milk. You can't eat soy sauce. Last night, um, I made sushi. Uh, which is, I mean, it is sushi. It's just, like, really ghetto sushi. It's about on par with grocery store sushi, but you know what? There's no place that delivers it around here. And, uh, whenever we have sushi, she's all about soy sauce. This cat loves soy sauce. She just, she loves it. She's rubbing her... This is what I have to deal with when I'm work, trying to work. Hang on. There it is. Oh, no, she doesn't know what I'm doing now. I've spooked her. I've spooked her. No, that's my water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna come? All right. Oh yeah, there we go. She just she just had burps and everything, and it's so cute that I can't make her stop. But like she'll hang on. Now I can't put this back. Ooh. Um, like she'll if I'm writing with a pen, which I do a surprising amount, she'll like put it in like her mouth, kind of, and then just like rub her face around. It makes it really. I've got some I've got some pretty funny notes that are. Is this thing? I'm having a moment. It's morning, Ben. Why did I ever agree to stream in the mornings? Okay. All right, am I? Yeah, it's me. That's close enough. Hi, cat. How are you guys doing? Kind of quiet. It shouldn't be that quiet. I've actually made it louder than it used to be, um, because I had a couple of people saying that the streams specific specifically were too quiet. I can't turn it up a little bit more. Um, I might have just been not talking to the mic because I was trying to move my camera. Uh, Mount Run streams are inspiring. <laughs> Why? Thank you. My oldest cat enjoys soy sauce. It's like we never let her have people food, and it's the only thing she's really gotten a taste of. Because once upon a time. Um, when we were cleaning up, like, when we had first, first gotten there, we were cleaning up after, uh, after having had some sushi, and we had, like, one of those soy sauce bottles out, just, like, on my desk, I think, and I didn't, I didn't wipe it up fast enough, because it had, it was, like, messy, and it left a ring on the desk, and before I can get back and wipe it up, she had licked off the entire soy sauce ring, and then decided that she liked soy sauce. I guess just because it's salty, I don't know, but now anytime, like, my husband gets these, um, soy sauce flavored corn chips sometimes. Whatever you can find them. And I know they sound weird. They're a little weird. I, they're, they're not bad. But whenever he's eating those, she is all up in his business. So it's just soy sauce, and then she di direly wants milk. So after the sushi, we end up having um, gingerbread cookies, which I did eventually make, and uh, with milk. And she was just she was just all up, all up in business. Uh, Hazel is the cutest pets in WoW and IRL. I'm so happy to catch you live. Patreon you want? Thank you. Only ever done one mount run. It was for that underwater squid thing. My husband is terrible with feeding our cats people food. Yeah, it's one It's one of those roads that once you've started down, it's really hard to, to go back. Um, so we've, we've just tried our very best to never let her have anything. But we give her lots of treats, and I cuddle her whenever she wants. So I don't feel too bad about it. So I am making... Hang on. I'm actually going to do the thing, because we are doing ICC runs today. We're doing invincible runs. That's all we're doing, because it's going to take us like an hour and a half. 
So I need to start by going into my raid lockout. I need to reactivate that. And then I need to make myself a group just for myself. I'm having a hard time navigating my keyboard with my cat butt like on it. Uh, start. Kitty, I can't. Kitty. Um, uh, uh. What do giraffes like? Dolphins. Probably not true, but I bet if they met one, they would probably be like, huh. Yeah. Alright. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. This is just for me. And we're going to log over. Start at the top, just kind of work our way down the list. I think we have seven characters, seven or eight. Where are my glasses? Oh, here they are. Um, it's just a little bit bright. So we'll start all the way up here. Just work our way down. So happy to catch you live afternoon. Um, I love Kira. Me too. She's very friendly. Whenever people visit, she'll she'll watch them for like 10 minutes. And then once she's, once she's decided that it's all cool, which she always does, she will be in anybody's lap. Anybody's lap. We don't have that many people over, but whenever somebody does visit, it happens. Someone who just got back into WoW a couple of months ago, I finally completed pretty much all I can for my Legion main. Any input for leveling up a group of alts? My plan is to do one of each class. Um, that sounds like a good idea. I'm not quite sure what kind of input you're looking for. Uh, are you going to E3? No. <laughs> Definitely not going to E3. I've never been to E3. I've never been to E3. I've never been to PAX. I've never been to BlizzCon. You know what I went to? I went to Anime Evolution in like 2006. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it was specifically 2006. I remember I was a teenager. Like, I was still I was still in school. It was a long time ago. Um, all right. There we go. Sure. Why not? Lots of bloods. What am I doing? I'm joining that group. That's right. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Kitty. No, you can't have my glasses. <laughs> you can't have them. And head out to... ICC. Hang on, I guess I should get myself like flying there at least before I stop and I need to uh, I need to intake some tea. I am sorry I was a minute or so late today. I have adjusted my morning routine a little bit just because um, I have plans to water now. I finally last weekend and this is one of those things that I was like, yeah, just, it'll take like an hour, it'll be fine. It took like the whole day. But I popped down to the garden center and got like some of those drainage trays that you guys were telling me that I should get, which was true. Um, some like big drainage trays for the tomato grow bags and I got some marigolds to go into a planter and just got a bunch of stuff and spruced up my balcony garden and uh, it looks great and I'm very happy with it and now I have to water it every day so like I had succulents out there before but I can get by with watering those guys like maybe once a week um, in hot weather and these ones definitely need daily water so I was doing that this morning but it feels good water like I, can I still can't water with reckless abandon because the drainage trays don't have that much capacity so if I water too much, that's going to overflow and um, drip down onto my poor new downstairs neighbors who don't, they, I'm, I haven't met them, but they probably don't deserve to be dripped on. I am going to worm rest and we're going to fly. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Dalek. Uh, manifest all the mounds dropping today. Just got invincible. I'm so happy. Congrats, Mr. Simo. Been to any WoW related cons? No, never. Um, like I said, the, the last convention I went to was an anime convention like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Many, many. Um, I am go planning, if I can get a ticket, which I still don't have, I am planning to go to BlizzCon this year. I'm hoping on it. I'm very afraid. I'm terrified. Petrified. It's very scary. <clears throat> Finally able to watch. Bonjour from France. Bonjour. Bonjour. I have, I have, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hazel just caught an Alec the other day. Still alive from that. Grats. Thank you for your TSM guides, Hazel. No problem. Uh, I don't know if you're still in anime. My Hero Academia is a 10 out of 10 show to have on the second monitor while archaeologying. I remember my husband watching that. I am no longer really into anime. I'll occasionally watch something if he's really excited about something and he wants to watch it together, but I don't really go out of my way to watch it on my own. But I don't watch a lot of stuff on my own. You know what I actually did watch last night? Is, um, I watched, it was on Netflix. It was a new Disney movie. It was called, um, it was Coco. It was with the, the, the dude and the guitar. It was really good. I don't. I wasn't really expecting much from it. I just wanted to put something on while we were having dinner, and uh, we had just finished the new season of Kimmy Schmidt, so we didn't have anything like ready to go. And I know very well that I will sometimes be done eating by the time we find something. So it was like right at the top, and I just I just put it on. But it was a great movie. I was like, I don't and I don't really like movies. 
I rarely watch movies, and beyond that, I very rarely watch movies that I haven't already seen. I prefer to read, like, and this is the same, I'm the same way with books. Um, it's it's sad, but I prefer to rewatch and reread things that I've already experienced. Um, so it's hard to get me to watch a new movie, but I really liked it. I cried like a like a like a tiny baby, but that, it's not that hard to make me cry. Um, let's see here. Good luck on your mat runs today. Sending luck from across the pond. Uh, happy Tuesday. Good morning, Flutterbetta. Flutterbetta is flutting flutting around. He's He's, he's split another fin, but I'm starting to realize that's just his life. There's really nothing else we can do for him. I could try him in different tank sizes. I could try to go bigger. I could try to go smaller. I wouldn't try to go smaller, really. That's kind of as small as it can be while still maintaining good water quality. I could try to put put it, make it bigger and get some other stuff in there with him, but I don't think it would help. He's like, considering what he tried to do to the poor mystery snails, he's very, very territorial. And like, it could work in a new setup, but... Um, because he has always been this aggressive and active and just like flipping out and splitting his own fins and biting on his own tail, I don't know if anything that I can do is going to make that any better. So he gets clean water every day and he gets his favorite treats and we hang out and we talk and, uh, and, and he's just going to get clean water every day for the rest of his life because otherwise his fins will get infected because he keeps biting them. <laughs> It's so, it's, it's, it just, it stresses me out so much because I love that little fish. He is my dude. He is very cool. He is very pretty. I just, kitty, why are you biting me? Am I, is it because I'm talking about Flutter? I don't know. You just, you want, you want, I don't know what you want. Uh, we're going normal 25. We're going to zone in. We're going to bump that up. But yeah. And there's just, there's just so many bettas in the world that are in bowls that are not filtered that do not have the same fin- I mean, I'm sure many of them have the same fin problems, but most of them don't. I don't know what's up. Um, what is this weird icon next to my name? So, the- haha, <laughs> let me explain. Sponsor icons got an update! Um, they now progress the more months you have sponsored. So you start out with that standard, uh, you start out with that standard, regular looking nut, and then when you become, when you reach your first month, like your first full month after having sponsored somebody's car alarm, uh, you will get a lovely little butterfly on your nut. That is the deluxe nut. And then at, what is it? I forget the exact, I put it in Discord. You can look in the Hazel Announcements tab in Discord. You can see like the exact durations. Can you guys hear that? Um, but yeah, it goes regular nut, nut with butterfly, silver nut. Silver nut with void butterfly, which is what you happen to have, Adam. And then at one year, you end up with a golden nut. And at two years, which nobody, I don't, nobody is one year or two year yet. We're not, I don't know if I've streamed that long. Um, and then at two years, there is a golden nut with what I am calling a fairy void butterfly. Although to be quite honest with you guys, because they're like this big, um, it, it's, it's only really a butterfly if you believe in it. <laughs> I promise it was when it was bigger. But if you want it to be a flower, that's fine. If these flowers and butterflies are too friendly for you, that's fine. You can pretend it's an alien. It's really up to you. But it's basically a deluxe version of the icon that levels up over time. Um, a bit slow. I spent the last two days leveling the Frost and Fire Mage because I didn't realize the magical saucer toy was in my owner halls. But I'm now halfway with the toys. I haven't gotten that one yet. Is it fun? I've been, I, I've been, I need to, I need to go back and do that. Although it's time walking now. I think that's going to be our Friday stream is just doing a bunch. My headphones. I think our Friday stream is just going to be doing a bunch of time walking on different characters, like figuring out exactly how many different items I'm looking for. And then the lady in my headphones talks to me when I turn them on. Uh, yeah, figuring out exactly how many different items I'm, I'm looking for, and then doing at least one time walking dungeon on each of those, on a character for each thing. I should have been doing that like ages ago, because I think for the toys it only takes like what, two, three events worth of that, that bonus thing to get them? I don't think they're that expensive, but I just have not been doing it. Uh, Darling in the Franks 10 to 10 anime. Uh, good morning Hazel, good morning Spencer, how are you doing? Koku is fantastic, it was so good! It was so good. Uh, three away from the 100 mount achieved. Just got brawlers. Oh, oh, oh no, we're good. Kitty, oh, kitty. <laughs> my windows, you guys can't see it, but my windows, uh, my windows bar and like my windows start menu kept popping up like over and over again. I'm like, I'm not pressing my windows key and I look at my cat's butt. My cat's butt is pressing the windows key. Uh, so well animated that scene. Mm. 
Uh, did you get my comment if Legacy Loot works in something like LFR Dragon Soul? I went and tested it and then I pinned a comment. Um, I didn't try the LFR one, but it's, it, it, like, Legacy Loot mode was enabled in normal. There would be no reason for them to not enable it in LFR. That was, like, the intent. Um, and I guess I could go try it. The thing is, 10-man Dragon Soul was a struggle. <laughs> it took me, like, five minutes to kill Morchok because the tuning's not there yet. The post-squish tuning has not really, I hope it hasn't been done because it's awful. Um, it's really difficult to kill those bosses, so I may not actually, I mean, I can, I, I probably can, but I may not actually be able to kill an LFR boss, even though the difficulty is lower than normal, because the LFR defaults to 20, man. I might not be able to do it. <laughs> I might not be able to kill the boss, but the, um, the, when you, when you first zone in, it shows you that little pop-up in the chat box that says Legacy, Legacy Loot Enabled, so it will work, yeah. I still need to watch Coco. It was, it was wonderful. You definitely should. Now I feel super special. Thanks, Hazel. And that is that Adam is the most upgraded icon that anybody has. You have you are you are on the tier of the longest longest sponsor streaks. When BFA comes out, will the feat of strength achievement for Lightforge and Void Elf still be available? I don't know. I'm assuming so. You're still gonna be able to unlock them. Um, we have not yet seen any signs that their rep requirements are going to be removed. Um, if they do that, I would imagine it would be like after the end of BFA. Like, it's weird to have a new player come to BFA, want to make a Void Elf, and have to go do Argus stuff. But there's, like, there's a fine line for when they can remove that, because they've already stuck to it for so long. You can't remove it, like, as soon as BFA comes out. Otherwise, you know, people that have been, like, working to get that done now just kind of got slapped in the face. It's cute. Your pet follows you on a little disc next to you. Oh, I do need that. You're right. I have my mage. I have a level 100 mage. I just need to get her leveled up. I have been very very slowly working through my my uh characters that were not 110 yet um one at a time mind you one at a time do 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 i have been working through those <sighs> to to get them leveled up to 110 um with the intent uh, maybe not for the maybe not for the mage because she's the one that holds the lockout but for the other characters to have more characters to run icc on every week to hopefully bump up our chances a little bit but um i'm doing the shaman right now it's uh I'm only going to six or seven i know it could go faster if i went ahead and ran all of the new characters through um like because i'm just doing the invasions whenever there's an invasion up if i have time and i'm available i'll log on and i'll do it but i really can only stomach doing a legion invasion on a on a non-level tuned once per invasion i can't sit down and do it more than once because it's so painful you know you get into a group but by and large, the only people doing those Legion Invasions anymore are other people like you that are just trying to level through it. And the damage that you do as a non-110 character in a Legion Invasion is so sad. It's like you're fighting an imp and you're like, all right, imp, I'm going to get you. I'm, 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 I'm working on it. Okay, I'm charging something up. And then I'll charge up another seven spells after that. And then the singular imp might die. And hopefully I don't aggro anything else or it's going to punch me and I'm done. And... Like, it's gotten a little bit harder just because the incentives for max level players to do invasions are basically gone. Nobody needs nether shards. Nobody needs that gear. You know, people do one to get their campaign done, and then that's kind of the end of it. Uh, let me let me skip ahead here a little bit. Six mats from 300 guaranteed getting it in BFA after the 100 rep one now. Nice. Uh, it's been so long since I've been able to catch a stream. Glad to be here. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Las Tesis. We're, we're, we're going with that. I liked your video on Legacy Loot. Well, thanks for thanks for watching it. I wasn't sure about that one. Um, I know it hasn't been talked about a whole lot recently, and it's kind of neat, so I wanted to just cover it really quick. But it's also, it's it's probably like the least amount of content you could possibly make a video of because it's basically like, yeah, they're putting loot back. It, it 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 they changed it, and now they're they're not quite changing it back. There are a couple of distinctions, and I do cover them in the video. They're not quite changing it back. There are a couple of differences between the way loot will work with Legacy Loot and the way it worked originally before personal loot became mandatory, but um, I'm glad that at least somebody enjoyed it. Um, thanks for keeping me sane while I work in the field, Medic Chief. Best of luck to you, Lindsay. You are braver than me. I feel a pang of guilt every time I pick up one of those items that is for the achievement, because it's just like, go, go, go heal the wounded explorer, and I'm like, he's just gonna have to die. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> How many 110 ults do you have? That's a good question. Every time I count, I count wrong. Um, somewhere in the range of six or seven-ish. Let's see, we got two priests, 
we have a rogue, two priests, rogue, a uh, death knight, monk. Two priests, rogue, death knight, monk. Hunter. So that's six. Warlock, seven. Somewhere around there. Uh, respect from Hungary. Uh, Hazel, it's 20 minutes into the stream and you haven't told us about your tea. That is true. Today I am drinking a Yunnan Golden Needle. It's a black tea from China. It's got a very... I've talked a little bit about this, I think, on a recent stream, which is kind of why I wanted to drink it. I had it on my mind. But it's like a sweet sort of malty tea. This one is high quality enough that I sometimes drink it black. And sometimes I'll even gong fu it, which is when you brew... You use a tiny little teapot. I have this adorable tiny little teapot. And you use a lot of tea leaves in it, and I actually weigh them out. Um, the, the pot is almost filled with leaves. And then you pour a little bit of water into it, and you steep it for, like, a couple of seconds. You know, you start it with, like, three seconds, five seconds, and then the second steep you do, like, six or seven seconds. And you can steep this over and over and over again because you're using so much leaf and so little water, and it steeps very quickly. It's a different style of sitting down and enjoying teas. It's definitely better with some than others. Um, and I have a tea set that kind of facilitates that whole process. It's a really relaxing thing to do on a weekend when just playing Scrabble with my husband. Um, it's, but it's good enough to do with that. Right now, I just brewed it really strong and then added a little bit of sugar and a bunch of milk. And it can actually, you can actually take it like a breakfast tea like that. And it's got some really, it's got some really, it's really hard to describe. I'm really awful at describing tea. Okay, so I am removing the character that I just ran. And then I am changing make the difficulty normal 25. Uh, Hazel, you made me pick up Fisher Friends efforts again. You should, you, 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 you got it, you got it. It doesn't take that long. It's not that bad. I really wish I had done it all in one character. I really kind of, kind of got myself there. I'm getting up to drink some black tea with mint. Black tea with mint? That I have not tried. I have tried, like, herbal teas. I mean, mint is an herbal tea. Um... And then green tea with mint, I think, is like a Moroccan thing, like Moroccan mint tea. But I haven't tried black tea with mint. Okay, so here we are. Did I, I bumped it up? I did. Uh, that sounds good. Are they replacing first aid with another second skill? No, they're just they're just taking it out. <laughs> Bandages are going to be part of tailoring. The achievements are going to be feats of strength. And it's goodbye first aid. You were the only secondary profession that I could not bring myself to level. Uh, Hazel, I love you. Keep the amazing content coming. Thanks for watching it, Darren. Greetings from Hungary. Shout out to Hazel. I just started playing WoW again. I've learned a lot about the new content. Thanks to your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you, guys. You guys are too sweet. You, you, you're, re you're really too sweet. You're the ones that let me sit in my house and make WoW videos all day instead of having a real job. You are the only reason that I'm able to do this. And it's great because then I can also be here for my, for my animals, you know? Flood of bites his fins if I leave for too long, so it's really best that I can work from home. <laughs> and the dog cries. It's just... Uh, I just got my first tune to 850, got the Underlight Angler, besides the going away soon stuff, what should I focus on? Mm, I mean, if there's any meta achievements that you're looking for, like if you really want to do, if you really want, like, I guess if it's your first character, you probably want to chill on that, you just want to get set up. Mm, I wouldn't worry too much about gear, you can try and get some gear, it'll make leveling a little easier early on, but it's not a big deal. Nothing's really crucial. You can kind of pick to you can kind of pick and choose the parts of the game that you like. Like maybe, I mean, at that I don't know. Maybe Chad will have a have a better better answer for you. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get perspective on it, and I'm trying to remember what's important when you're like brand new like that. You could try and do flying actually, um, like Legion flying or even Draenor flying if you don't have the old flyings already. Now is a great time to do it because there's not really a whole lot else to do. You're not really going to want to do it later, and even though the expansion's going away, it still gives you account-wide access forever. Um, even when you're leveling through the content, it makes it way easier to level alts one day, which you might want to do. So I would say I would say the flying achievements is a good place to start. Uh, hey again, Hazel. Best of luck this week. Thanks, Isaac. Uh, nothing fancy called Plantation Mint from Bigelow. I love mint, though. I do want a stronger tea taste and more caffeine than herbal teas. Mm. Got a few samples coming from a site called The Tea Spot. One I think you would love by the sounds of it. I'm going to test it, and if it's good, I'm sending some. It's called Choco Mint Truffle. Ooh. I really did enjoy it, much to my surprise. Um, that chocolate hazelnut tea, so I am game. Today's the Asuna friend, which is the last one I need. Any tips on the Rustered Dirt Mage Tower? Surprisingly, yeah, actually. That's one of the ones that I've done. Sometimes people ask me to make guides on, like, the Hunter one. I've never done it. Um, Rustered Mage Tower. Manage your cooldowns. 
don't be afraid to take pauses in between phases. Like, you don't, there's no timer, like, until there's a timer running. There, like, once you finish the first phase, there's no timer on starting the second one. There are a couple of places where you can stop. You can get your mana back. You can change talents if you want, if you brought tomes in. And you can let your cooldowns come back up. So don't be afraid to use your cooldowns and then let them come back up later. And then specifically for the last part of it, manage your cooldowns. Figure out for that part when the dudes are coming into the center and you need to heal them. Figure out what your plan is. Write it down if you have to. I almost had to do that because I was just panicking and then doing all the wrong things. Like, figure out your plan and practice it. Be like, I am going to trank for the first one. Or actually, what I did was I used my Gift of Gahanir and, and Drums, Bloodlust, for the first two that got me through like two. And then for the third one, I used tree form, and that got me through, like, another two. And then for the last one, I used Tranquility. Like, that was my plan. Um, but just have your cooldowns ready to go, because you will need cooldowns to get through that phase. You will need them. They're, you're not doing it without them. I mean, maybe if you have amazing gear, but if you did, you, you probably were done already. Um, would you ever consider doing Hearthstone streams and content? Yeah. I'm not against it, but the thing is, um, uh, most people... It's, this is very much a WoW-based channel, and while I'm sure some people would want to see Hearthstone, it's not like I have anything special to offer by way of Hearthstone. I enjoy playing Hearthstone at the most casual level you can possibly imagine. I like doing my quests, I like making silly decks to do my quests, I enjoy tavern brawls that include a lot of randomness, those are really fun. And basically, I just like make decks that are awful, and I do my quests at rank 20, and I never really get above rank 20, and I make lots of terrible decisions, and... I enjoy that. I enjoy not having to be good at Hearthstone. I have a great time just kind of like doing whatever I want and seeing if it works. It doesn't particularly bother me if it was a mistake. So I don't really want to stream it and have everybody tell me what I'm doing wrong because I am unquestionably doing all sorts of stuff wrong. I just don't really want to know. It's not important. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I am getting out of here and logging on to character number three. Um, thanks, Hazel, for streaming today. I needed to pick me up from looking at a house I want to rent, and I listen to you while I hunt for another home. Best of luck with that. I hope you find the right place. Um, if you hit the Lich King as hard as you can, he drops them out, right? Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm just not hitting him hard enough. Maybe I'm being too polite. Maybe we should be really mean to him. We should be like, hey, I bet you're bored up here. You don't even, you don't even have... I don't know. <laughs> I have no trash talk skills. Okay, so we're logging off of this one, heading on to the next one. Um, Lapsang Sujong, great smoky tea, a bit like camping tea, also great to smoke fish with. I've had Lapsang, never smoked fish with it. Never even heard it. I mean, I've never, I mean, I've never personally smoked fish with anything. Um, like my dad, we used to go fishing as a kid and we, he, he had a smoker he would smoke salmon with it was really good. But uh, never done that. That sounds good. Uh, I am 25, yes. I will be 26 in September. I'll be 26 this year. <sighs> Same with Hearthstone. It's very relaxing for me. I'm also casual. Wow, so young. Uh, eh. There's a, there's, a, there's a wide range of people that play WoW. I don't think I'm at the bottom of it. I'm not at the top of it either, but I'm not at the bottom. Um, what do you think about the Vicious War Strider mount? I'm trying to get it. The Vicious War Strider. Hang on, let me, let me get this group so I can have it ticking over. So this one... Join. Yeah, good. Vicious War Strider. I've been kind of out of the Vicious Mounts game for a bit. I want to get back into it. Vicious. This thing? That one? Hang on. I have it. Oh, no. I need to be outside. Or is there another one? Is there like a... Did they make a... Oh, no, they didn't. Look at all these Vicious Mounts I don't have. Ugh. I want it. I should do Arena again. Um... <laughs> Oh, oh, I pressed a button and it was scary. Something happened. What am I pressing? Cash 12 known recipes. Oh, oh, all the things did something. That's what that was. <laughs> that frightened me. Yeah, this is a cool one. This is a cool man. Also, I've never in my life seen another player riding around on this thing. Not once. You can, you can, you can be that person. Um, a remarkably healthy attitude towards games. Doesn't matter if I'm good, I'm having fun. Very easy to have unrealistic expectations of yourself and that can make things way less fun. Yeah, it's definitely, and there's definitely different styles of enjoying games, and I'll apply different ones to different games. Like, I feel that way about Hearthstone, but if I am raiding in WoW, while it's still important that I'm having fun, I also want to do my best because there's then other people that are on my team that I want to do well to support. And then in something like, um, something like Dark Souls, 
I also I'm a little bit harder on myself, not too much, but I'm not going to just do like anything because I'm tr I'm I'm trying to iterate and improve on whatever it was I was doing so I can hopefully kill the boss because for me the thing about Dark Souls that makes it fun is that feeling of self-improvement. So, there's different there's different styles of it, but I think it's also very important to recognize when it doesn't matter. And I mean on the at the end of the day, none of it really matters, but um there, there's, it's not the only way to enjoy games. There's definitely a lot of um, gratification you can get out of taking something seriously and becoming better at it. That's also really cool. What am I doing? I am removing my priest from the group. I am making sure this is in normal 25. We're going to zone in and we're going to make it normal or heroic 25. So high in the citadel, he does not even get cell from reception. There you go. Thank you. Need to do that more on some things. Uh, what part of Canada were you from again? I'm from Vancouver Island, West Coast, BC. I miss it. It's getting hot down here, and I don't think it really gets this hot up there. Uh, what am I doing? I am changing the difficulty back up. I haven't missed one yet today. <laughs> Little things. <laughs> Little things are important. Cross his fingers for Invincible. I got mine early, not even trying. If I do nothing, ever drops. Only the Drake dropped. It's a, it's a journey, and they're all different, you know? All of the Mount Run journeys are a little bit different. I always remember the ones that I had to farm forever more. Like, if I got really lucky with something, it's cool, but that mount isn't as special to me. Like, the longer I had to farm for something, the more attached I get to whatever it is when it finally happens. So I try not to get too upset when it doesn't drop, because it's just, we're just, like, banking emotional investment in this mount one day. I will enjoy riding it so much more when I've had to farm it that many times trick to getting the mount is thinking you don't want it. That's how the WoW gods work. Any secret to grinding the allied faction reps besides more world quests? Not really. Um, I did do a video that goes over everything you can possibly do. It's been a while, so I don't remember everything that was in it, but I think that was basically the gist of it. Maximizing your rep buffs, do a lot of world quests. That's kind of the most, the most of it. Vicious mounts are the reason I'm considering PvP content next expansion. I've always been intimidated by it otherwise. The nice thing about Vicious Mounts is there's no rating requirement whatsoever. None at all. So if you can find somebody, and the problem is finding people that are on the same page as you, but if you can find somebody on the same page as you, it doesn't matter if you guys are 800 rating. It doesn't matter. You can, you can lose 110 times, and you know what? After you lose 110 times in a row, your MMR is so low that you are fighting tiny children that have gotten onto their parents' computers, and sometimes you can beat them. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's fine. And all you have to do is get wins. It doesn't matter what rating it is. So you can have fun. You can try things. You can, you can, you know, experiment. You can try different comps. You can try playing with different people. It's just the thing about PvP is that the community is, there are some great people in it, but they are hard to find in LFG. It's, it's an intimidating thing to get to. And, you know, you work up the courage and you get in there. And then all of a sudden you have some people that you know, you don't know anything about them, but they're telling they're telling you all sorts of awful things for no really good reason. Or maybe good reasons, but there's still no reason to be toxic on the internet. So, it's, uh, it's definitely intimidating, and there's definitely going to be some abuse there. It's just a, it's just a matter of learning how to shake it off, and finding the right people to do it. It is so much fun to PvP with people when you're, when you're on the same page about how serious you want to take it, because you don't want to be that person that's taking it really serious. Like, if you're taking it really seriously, and you're trying really hard to get better, and you're doing your best to not make any mistakes, and your partner just like fat fingers all their buttons and goes, ha-ha, because they felt like it. You know, that's frustrating. But if you're that person, and you thought you were just there to press whatever buttons you were wanted, which is fine, you know, if you're not, if you're not, like, as long as you guys are on the same page about how hard you want to try, um, totally cool. It's when people start getting hung up on rating, um, and there's an imbalance between how hung up on rating you are between the different members of the group, that's where you run into problems. But the vicious ones don't have any ra ra rating requirements, and they're great. And I should really do more of them. I'm trying to I'm trying to organize my life to make to make some space for that kind of things because PVP in BFA looks like it might be kind of fun. Uh, let's see. Cahoon answered my prayers and gave me what I wanted. Ask politely. I'm fifty something, but young at heart. I thought Simple Armory only went up to Cata. I looked it up, and there's Legion stuff in it. Did they update Simple Armory? <gasps> Wow, that would just make my life. I should double check that. Um, can you quickly show your graphics settings? You only need to show, yeah, sure. Systems, graphics, this is what I play on right now. So, hang on, get down there. Uh, this right? Yeah. I have a, for reference, hang on. This isn't what I normally like to do at all. I like to have detail pretty high, ground clutter off, view distance a little higher, shadows all the way down, 
Uh, when did I change this? Sometimes things get reset to default. Um, I run WoW well with a GTX 1070, which is more than good enough to play WoW. Well. Does great. Um, does a respectable job in encoding as well. The only thing that we struggle on together is uh, when I decide that I want to do 4K and my my poor old processor and, and slightly inadequate graphics card tells me otherwise. My nose is very itchy and I'm going to keep scratching it and then it's going to turn into root up. I need to just leave it alone. I need to, I need to be zen about it. I need to just accept that I probably won't die if I don't scratch my nose. It's just going to be itchy and I'm going to have to live with it. Okay. So, no go on that. This character does not hurt out of there, because I pretty much am just going to park her right outside. This is the character that I do PvP on whenever I am going to. You can see I have done all sorts of PvP this season. Like, I've only gotten to 1600. We've, we've gone 22 out of 33. When did I even do three? Oh, no, that's twos. I was thinking, when did I do threes? Apparently not very many of them. Um, and you just I just haven't finished my placement matches. But it's fun when you do it. Uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy PvPing with... Um, like on weekends with my friends, if we're if we're drinking a little bit, that's always fun. Uh, once you get the map, will you ever even fly over ICC ever again? No, absolutely not. I have all the mog I could ever want from here, and I'm never coming back. My brother woke me up after I told him not to. Oh no! Uh, I spent so long Sunday getting loose <laughs> name here. Oh dear. You got it though, right? Like you got it. Okay. Uh, logging off. Logging on the next one. Now that I've like declared myself against the nose itch, it's attacking me. This is difficult. Mm. Matt runs in World Cup. Looks good. Go Senegal. Uh, do you still remember the Canadian National Anthem? If so, can you please sing I do remember it. I'm not going to sing it. I was one of those tryhard kids in school that learned it in both French as well as English, even though we didn't really need to know the French one in BC. But they, uh, it, it came up for some reason. Maybe we learned it in French class? I don't really remember. Uh, got your five mil for the new mountain yet? Not quite. I have 1.9 and a half-ish, approximately. Um, I'm so itchy. Uh, uh, 1.9 and a half-ish. And the thing that's killing me right now is the decision, and I, th I thought I had already made this decision, and I keep making it over and over again. But part of me wants to just get to the 2 million before BFA, which I think I can do. Hang on. So part of me wants to get to the 2 million before BFA, which I think I can do, and then just get the spider and start over. Because then it's like a fresh gold making, a fresh gold making palette in BFA, and I can earn gold on the back of my sweet spider. Like I feel like the spider won't be as impressive later, so it's it's one of those things that I feel like I will I will value more if I get it earlier, but sets me back literally halfway. Because keep in mind the um, the auctioneer amount I think only goes for four million once you have the full reputation discount, which is happening. It would set me back halfway. And I, like, it's not just a cool mount. It's a cool mount with an auctioneer on it. Uh, like, I could completely use my bank alt for other stuff. I wouldn't need to have a bank alt anymore for, I mean, aside from using it as a bank. I'm not going to itch my nose. It's so hard, guys. I'm not going to, like, I could just send all my stuff to my main character, post it all on there, and then I have that added, like, joy of seeing in my chat log when stuff sells, you know? Uh, in the UK here, we have every season in a day. Uh, sad thing, I have 300 plus mounts, use flight form or travel form instead. That's not sad, flight form is instant cast, you know, your mounts just aren't. And there's no real way around that. Um, I, that's, that's kind of the reason why it's a little bit silly that I'm playing on a druid in PvP. Because even if I do one day get enough of my life together to get a gladiator mount, I mean, I'll probably just ride it anyways. I'll probably just suck up the cast time and ride it forever anyways, but, um... I'm a druid. <laughs> I don't even ride mounts. <laughs> Normal 25, okay. Uh, the longer the wait, the more precious it seems. If you got something in the first five runs, it won't seem special. Uh, tell me I'm wrong, though. Isn't that what I said? How do you run with your main after using that method? How do I run with my main? This method? Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, I ruined it. How did I ruin it? I think I must have messed something up with the... Because I'm 25. What did I do? What did I do? Did I not kick the character? I thought I, I remember kicking the character. Rare difficulty normal twenty five. Because I think I think Lich King's, I think I I think I saw twelve twelve twelve. I think I messed up. Not surprising. 
I make mistakes all the time. Also, I scratch my nose. Yeah, so we're in Haruk, and this lockout is, yeah, it's 12, 12. How did I do that? Oops. Oops. Should not have clicked that button. Um, I guess I'm skipping this one this week. I'm just going to go reset the group. I think that's probably the safest way to start this ever. I'm going to go leave, make a new group, and join it on my next character. Oops. Oh, all right. It's getting really hot in BC now. Mm. Try running for this mount for six years and it not dropping. Why are you forming a party with your other account? Is there a benefit? Well, up until that point, I was sharing my lockout. So I have a lockout, or I thought I had a lockout, double check, um, that was 11 of 12 in the dungeon, so I didn't have to kill any of the other bosses. And by sharing that lockout around, it means I don't have to reclear the raid. I can just go straight to the Lich King, kill him, and then do it on my, do it on my next character. Uh, let's see. Catch up a little bit. Uh, for people who are running new allied races for the Heritage Armor, play a monk. That enlightenment buff is OP. Can you show us their cup? It looks interesting. So this, yeah, it's it's kind of like a stein. It's like a ceramic stein, but I painted it purple. Um, it's got like some trees on it. This is basically, um, I did this with my sister at a mug painting place in Victoria like years ago. And that that's it. That's the whole story. <laughs> it's a very terrible amateur paint job because I did it. And I am many things. An artist is not really one of them. Okay, so... This is extended. Lich King's still available. Okay, lockout's fine. I just managed to mess it up on my Huntress map. So I'm gonna create a new group. Start. Hang on, not fine. Start. Um, doodle, doodle, do, 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 Um, Rao Reddit said on beta they took away the rep discount. Oh no. Well, that makes me almost want to spend the two, the two mil because it's, you know, I'm not even half, if I'm not even halfway, I may as well have a spider, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Um, alright, so this character's next. So we've got three, one, two, three, we've got four more to run. If you flick your nose hard, it will stop? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, if one of your viewers gifted you to Spider-Man, do they get to be co-host? No. Uh, got you on live stream, doing my ICC runs today, good luck, thank you for all the great vids. Thanks, Kenneth. Doesn't it need to be on Heroic to get the mount? Yes, yes, it does. So you you zone in, and I have a video that explains exactly how to do this, but you zone in on normal, and then you bump up the difficulty, and in doing so, there is magic that allows you to maintain your lockout on the lockout holding character. Um, I couldn't explain to you exactly why it works, but I do know that it works when you do it properly. So I joined the group. I need to wait for lead to pass over, so I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys for a minute. Uh, way to run other raids like this. You just have to uh, enter the instance before lead passes, kick the lockout extending alt before you kill the boss. Oh, okay. You have a night elf druid. So does me. Works in 735. Uh, got invincible. My first run was not expecting that. Good luck. Nice. Are you farming the mount or the pet? The mount only drops in 25. I yes. I am farming the mount. I am aware of the difficulty that it drops on. Although sometimes I do I do mess up. Uh, with the net next to our names, does the month start from now or from when we sponsored? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm assuming it starts from when you sponsored. Um, oh no, it starts from when you sponsored. The graphics that I updated have nothing to do with it. Um, the, the, uh, the, the count, you can actually, and you can actually see when you mouse over. New sponsor means less than 30 days, like it means he sponsored within the last 30 or 31 or whatever. So that, that, that was being tracked even before I updated the graphics. I just added graphics to it. Um, uh, hi Hazel, you're my new favorite streamer and YouTuber. I love your vids. Thank you. Which maps are you doing? We're looking for an invincible. We're just running Lich King over and over and over and over again. So happy I got my head at the curve last weekend. Didn't think it was going to happen, but I won a lottery and got boosted. Grats on your um, on your spell wing. That's awesome. Is this the only instance where this method works? Does it work in any mount dropping instance? As far as I know, this is the only instance where this specific method works. Um, as, as people were saying, there may be a way to tweak it to make it work with other raids. I have not yet done so. So we enter on normal 25, normal 25. Um, you're doing ICC runs on normal and only recently realized feels bad. Buying the spider was such a pain, the vendor. All right, so 11 to 12, 25, good. And then what we do is we go raid difficulty, hurrah. It rezones you, you accept the new lockout and this is how you do it. There we go. Okay. Um, with a 12 hour respawn, yeah. That, that's the real kicker, is that even after you saved up all that gold, you still have to, like, track down the vendor. 
I did it. I've done it before because I bought the Celestial Calf. I have the one million gold pet. Yeah, you know, let me show you. Let me show off my my insanely unnecessary bling. Uh, Celestial Calf. This guy. I have that. That was worth it. Um, so that was from the same same merchant. But yeah, I don't know. The spider seems like it's. I don't know. So, like you can always make more gold, right? Uh, slight suggestion, if you get a damp cloth and wet the sides of your nose, it may help. Hmm. It's such a weird, I mean, I guess I can try it. It's such a strange thing. Um, sometimes moisturizing, it helps. And it maybe it's just a placebo effect, because this only happens when I'm streaming. It doesn't really happen when I'm making videos, like when I'm recording. It takes a while. Like, it could be from the lights, but I've switched light types. I don't think it's from the light. Like, that light, kind of far from me, doesn't really generate a lot of heat. I highly doubt it's drying up my skin. Maybe it's like a psychological thing. <laughs> uh, any other mats you can hunt? Always ICC. There are other mats that I can look for, but it's just like, I'm doing the ICC anyways because I've already got all my characters parked out here. And if I do them off stream and it drops, well, that's unfortunate. Like I, I made you guys watch like 80 Lich King kills, but I didn't let you watch the one where it dropped. Like that would suck. So, and I only really have this one slot of my week that I can do the stream format runs. So until it drops, I think we're just doing ICC unless I get really bored of it, but I would rather just do ICC. It's just more efficient. Like whenever we do um, assorted mount run streams where we run we fly around and do like a route of all sorts of different mounts, um, there's a lot of travel time involved there. There's less travel time with this. This is a little bit more efficient. If you had a free coupon and get anything in the game, mount, pet, item, whatever, what would you want to get? That's an interesting question. Anything, huh? Um... I would probably get, this is the face I make when I don't know, uh, I don't know, I don't really, there's not a whole lot of stuff that I'm like really sad that I don't have, like if I'm not able to get it, I've kind of let it go in my mind, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. I'd probably get like, um, pets that are not, like a pet that are not, that's not available anymore, like I'd probably look at the ones that, like the promotional pets and like the early BlizzCon pets and you know, the Blizzard Bear and whatnot. I would probably look through those and, like, pick a favorite out of those. Because those are things I'll never really be able to get now. But it also doesn't really matter. I have lots of BlizzCon pets that I like. Um, as soon as you do it off stream, it'll drop and you can move on. Isn't this the room you record your Saturday vlogs in? It seems like you're somewhere else. It is the same room, yeah. You're just looking at a slightly different camera angle. Like, when I, when I do the vlog, I move this whole monitor out of the way and I put the camera dead on so you get the view of, like, back there. Um, but it's... Um, if I'm gonna play WoW, I need the monitor to be like here. One of these days, when I catch up on all the videos that are actually important to make, or not even important, but like, are one day, <laughs> one day when I catch up on stuff, probably after BFA, uh, I'll do an office tour and you can see how I got my monitor set up. Serious question. You did a video about old raids and beta overscaling, not soloable. Any update on that? You're the only YouTuber that's even mentioned the scaling issue. That's because it's not really gonna be an issue. Like, we're not. We're reserving panicking until it goes live, and if it goes live and is not hotfixed. They have always shown that they have the intent to fix it. But to answer your question, yes, I have tested it recently. Yesterday, in fact, last night. And no, it's not fixed yet. It's still awful. <laughs> it's it's still really difficult to solo old raids. Like, ICC will kick your butt. Dragon Soul, oof, oof, oof. Um, but that's not their intent. Like, they're, they, they didn't go into the stat switch being like, you know what would be cool is if these old raids that people have been happily farming for years, we're just not farmable anymore. You know what? We don't want people to kill Deathway anymore. That's, no, nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying that. So if, they, if it turns out to be that way because of the other changes they made, they're going to fix it. They did it before. They've done this exact thing before. Um, the first stat squish, the same thing happened, and old raids were significantly harder, and they looked at it, and they came up with a solution. So I think everybody just kind of has faith that they'll do that again. I certainly do. It's just kind of fun to check it out while it's still broken. Um, you can set up your ults at different spots for mat runs. You can just swap tunes instead of traveling. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing now, except that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm putting them all outside of one raid to give us more chances at one mount, and then you, you move, I don't know. You're right, we could do a wider variety if we parked all the characters, it just, it feels messy in my mind. I don't know why. Uh, I think Blizzard will ever go back to the Arthas storyline as part of a new expansion. I mean, is there anything else to do there? Um, I could see us revisiting Northrend for some reason, just because... It wouldn't be the first time, like, we, we we kind of felt like we were on a redoing streak for a little bit. Like, Cataclysm was kind of like redoing the old world. And then Warlords was kind of like redoing Outland. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if an expansion revisits the Northrend concept, but um, I don't think we'd be revisiting actual Northrend. And I don't know. There's, there's, there's a lot of other ways they can go with it. How much is that spider mount? Two million gold. Two million. Have you got your luck already in Ashes of Alar? If not, spam it with all your alts. I have not yet gotten an Ashes of Alar, and I will spam it with all of my alts after I'm finished spamming ICC with all of my alts. I like having them all parked in one spot. If I had the coupon, I'd get the original Corrupted Ashbringer from Mog Bragging Rights. Uh, what do you think about people thinking that they're releasing BFA as an unfinished project? People think that? Um... So weird watching you play rogue. Play is like a like a loose term. Uh, I I mean other people can think whatever whatever they'd like to. They're, I mean I don't have a problem with it. Uh, personally I don't think that BFA is terribly unfinished. I should probably like I haven't seen like I saw the thumbnail I think I don't remember who did it. I haven't watched the video, so I'm really uninformed and not qualified to talk about this. Um, thanks for the update even if it still is broken. They'll 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 fix it. Good afternoon! If you have an SSD, what size is it? I was looking at one terabyte SSDs and they're expensive, but it's probably worth it. So I have two SSDs in there. One of them has my operating system and a couple of programs on it. The other one is a cache drive for editing. Uh, they're both 256 gigs. I would be way happier if they were both 500s. Terabytes are expensive. Terabyte would be great. At least go for it for a 500, like a 512 though. Um, 256 gigs is no longer really big enough for most things. Um, when I do my next computer, I, I'm going to need five, I'm going to need 512s. I have to do so much management right now to, especially, like, especially if I move and I would like to, to working with 4k video, uh, it's just not going to be a big enough size for my cache drive anymore. No spider map for me then. Uh, how to kill the last boss in Serpent Shrine Cavern? I don't get it killed. So the last boss in Serpent Shrine Cavern, you need to kill the ads. Um, for a long time. It's gonna take a long time and you just have to sit there and continue killing them. There's a thing, like there's there's special ads that I think maybe drop an item that you have to use. It's been a while, maybe somebody in chat can help. Um, it's Lady Vash with like the little water elementals coming in and there's some of them that like spit, spit stuff. I think part of it is just there's a long wait for enough of the right type to spawn. And then there might be something that you have to do. Your best bet is to look up that fight in Wowhead and look in the comments and somebody will tell you what you need to do there. All right, so we're logging out of this. Yeah, that was attempt number 75 at Invincible. Um, got Ashes of Alar one day, Raven Lord the next day, got GQ in my second run. Uh, all betas seem unfinished. I think they do that on purpose to loosen surprise for launch. Classes are unfinished. They admitted to it on stream and said we would have to wait till 8.1. Uh, I'd have to check. That, that sounds, that sounds, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they said that there's going to be additional changes that come in later patches, so I guess you can say that they're unfinished, but I don't think anybody's gonna be running around with like a five second hole in their globals with nothing to do. It just means that they're not at the place where they, their finished vision is gonna be. And the vision's evolving constantly. I think there's, like, the, like you're right, you're right. There's definitely more, they, they, they would probably love to have more time to get it the way that they want, but I still think it's going to be perfectly fine at launch. And I think the unfinished is a little bit harsh. Unfinished makes it sound like you're going to cast a Frostbolt, there's going to be like no animation there, and you're just going to have to imagine the thing being Frostbolted. Um, hey Hazel, hello! Debating on starting a Horde main to experience VFA storylines from both sides, but I don't know, a Horde? I may be expelled from Stormwind if the King finds out. I had those feelings when I was doing, um, when I did the Battle for Lordaeron on the beta, as a Horde. I, like, the entire time I was, like, slash apologizing to Anu, and I was like, I'm sorry, dude, I'm sorry. I just, I just, I, 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 I didn't mean it. It's not real. This doesn't count. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we sign up, wait for it to take over, kick my other character, change the difficulty. Um, top three pets you can get via Razor Dungeons? Ooh, I'd have to think about that. Um... Samsung 860 Evo reduced my boot time. My wow load times were reduced by more than 750%. Yeah, the Samsung drives are, I think, my favorite brand, just because they've never really let me down. I'm sure there's plenty of other SSDs that work perfectly fine, but once you find something that you like, it's very easy to just keep getting it. Isn't it weird that most pets look about as big as you as a gnome? Your rogues look, though. She ain't messing around. I like her mog a lot. I'm glad that I'm glad that you noticed that. It, it, it is, it is kind of neat that the pets don't scale. Like, mounts do. Mounts will scale. Like, you see a Torn on a Kodo, it's going to be way bigger than a Goblin on one. But, yeah, you're right. It's a little neat. 
I like that the rogue is Ripsy and not Hazel something. The ha Naming everything Hazel was a more recent um, development, and it was mostly just so that people knew who I was in Guild Chat. Because I have so many different alts. Um, so, removing this one. I used to have a different name for all of my characters. I, like, I would come up with a, with a RP name for each one of them. But when you have, like, 11 of them and you're just trying to get things done, it, uh, I, I eventually preferred to unify under Hazel with a bunch of extra vowels and letters. Okay. Raid difficulty. Normal 25. Play both Alliance and Horde. I have no feelings about it. Perfectly, perfectly normal. Uh, you're so positive about BFA. It's nice to hear somebody who's optimistic about it. And take it with a grain of salt. I tend to be pretty positive about most things before we've gotten them because there's no real reason not to. Um, like, because it's in development, I can look at the things I'm excited about and go, yeah, I'm really looking forward to being able to do this thing and this thing and this looks really cool and I really like this idea. And then if something is not working quite right yet, like, for example, the raid scaling thing, I go, well, they just haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> you know? And even after expansions come out, I kind of tend to adopt that policy. And maybe this is misplaced, but I have just kind of this faith that they like their game. They enjoy making a good game. They all play it. You know? They, they're not trying to ruin it. That would be silly. Life doesn't work. People don't work that way. Especially not people that care as much about their game as, as the people working on WoW do. So I have faith that even if something doesn't turn out the way that they wanted to, which is inevitable, it's impossible to do everything perfectly the first time, um, they're, that they're going to do their best to, to make it make it work in a way that's engaging. And so far, that's always been true. They've never really made a change to WoW where it was like, man, I'm just done. I'm leaving. I'm going home. I'm going to plant some turnips and be a farmer. Upper Spire. There we go. So sorry I'm late. Real life drama happened. No worries. No worries at all. How do you keep up and playing both sides? Seriously, I would like to know. I uh, just started alliance with the wife for the simple fact I wanted Dark Iron Dwarf. That's awesome. Could have used an add-on that shows your main name in guild chat. But that's, like, I think they would need that add-on. I think that anybody who wanted to see my name would need that add-on. I don't think that you can change what everybody else sees with an add-on on your end. Maybe, but I don't, I don't think so. Uh, really want to learn a rogue? I'm so used to casters. I've tried it once. I was so bad with a rogue. Basically me on any, any melee. I've just kind of accepted it. I've kind of... Oh my phone um gotten over it hi hazel just dropping in to say hey love you in your videos thanks wayne what was the name of the site that maps your mount run route simple armory simple armory almost all of my characters start with ez for the same reason if you want to be fancy get an nvme m2 yep i was looking for next time um an nvme m2 drive maybe even two of them because i know i want one for my cash drive like, to have, like, my, my, my work drive, like, when I'm editing, where, I, where it's drawing the files from, like, saving my in-use video and, and, and audio and graphics files on that drive, and then you clear it out later. I think, and I need to really do some more research, but I think the ideal setup, because I'd have a couple of SSDs. I want both my media cache, my working off of drive with all of the stuff, as well as my programs drive with, you know, my Windows and you know wow and other stuff i want all of those on ssds preferably separate ssds and then like a, a storage drive and i just need to figure out which ones are most crucial to have the fastest ones on i know that i don't need my programs drive to be the fastest one that i can get by with doing it like an 860 evo or something like that um i would just need to figure out which one is cru most crucial for the for the i think it would be the work drive i think i would have like a like a separate ssd media cache and then a nvme like project folder drive basically and then um and then a normal ssd for the operating system and then a big thing for storage let's see uh thanks so much for the voice pack learned about it last week no problem uh shows to those who don't have it my ppp officers has the first 500 tunes oh that's neat i didn't know that i have the same problem with casters i made a warrior switching to warlock is a pain uh the best part about rogues is spelling them rouge how are you stripping, sk skipping, how are you, I, I promise I'm not stripping. How are you skipping straight up to the Lich King? I have a video detailing exactly how I do it, but the short version is that I am lockout sharing with my alts. And I have a video that step-by-step -step walks you through exactly how you need to do it. It's it's pretty recent. It's, I think, called lockout sharing in ICC, something like that. You'll find it. Um, but yeah, I have, I have a lockout that I'm just sharing and extending to each of my alts one at a time. NVMe might be overkill for a scratch drive. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm thinking the scratch drive might be the might be the not fat. Like if I have two normal normal SSDs and then the NVMe, I'm thinking the NVMe should be the project drive, like with the raw video files on it, because those are being 
Like, those are being drawn from all the time. I dig your tank. I need to sang snag one for summer. Uh, this. This is, yeah, this is from the Blizzard Gear Star. This is the Alliance one. They have a Horde one as well. Um, I'm not sponsored, by the way. I just have a lot of Blizzard Gear stuff. And then it's, like, stripey in the back. But I don't really, um, it's not really my style just because this is one of those tanks that's got, like, really low armpits. Um, and it's, like, a little bit floppy. So you have to really enjoy the bra that you're wearing because people are going to see a little bit of it. And then, um, um, it's, it's got a nice, like, the bottom of it, um, goes, like, it's got, like, a, what do you call that, dolphin? Kind of along the back. I guess it, it feels basketball-y. I don't know. It's not my favorite cut, but it's really comfy. It's really comfy. So I do wear it now and then. I need to get some more summer, summer clothes. I need a couple of my, um, sleeveless shirts. And they were very cheap and not terribly great anyways, but they got um, bleach stains on them. And to the point where I don't really want to wear them outside. So I need to get some sleeveless shirts just because it's getting so hot. And there, it's, I am not about wearing sleeves when it's that hot outside. It's just so much more comfortable in, in something sleeveless. Okay. Especially like in this office. I do have AC that I can run and that does help. But the way, like, the way the building is curved, this room gets sun way more than anything else and it gets really warm in here okay so that was a no-go on that one any mounts yet not yet not today uh do you and your hubby had plan to have any baby nutties in the future you could call them your nutkins nutkins is very cute but no we don't plan on having any children um that was that was never part of the plan from from the beginning uh hazel do you ever rock the side pony like like full side pony like let me get to the point where I'm waiting for something to happen so I have an excuse to play with my hair on stream. I do, um, like, I'll do kind of an off... <laughs> Most of my hairstyles are designed to be viewed from the front because of, um, because of the fact, my job. So, um, if I'm doing, like, a ponytail in the back, typically it will be kind... It won't be all the way on the side, but it'll be lopsided so I can put it over one of my shoulders because I've noticed... And you can see this most clearly in the vlog I did right before Christmas where my hair is back in a very straight bun. If I put my hair too far back, people think that I shaved it all off. So I'll, I'll put my hair back like kind of to the, like the back side and then have it over a shoulder like that. Um, but as far as like full on side pony, like not, not in a long time. I used to do that like as a teenager, like all the way, all the way over. It makes me look like I should be hosting on some kind of a children's show. Um, and I'm just not terribly uh, skilled at talking to children. I don't really know what to say to them. Uh, I've had quite a bit of luck in the last couple days. Maybe today is invincible time. Once you get the invincible mount, will you post the moment under a Hall of Fame playlist? I don't know. It's an awful lot of pressure. If I go into this saying that when I get it, I'm going to make a special clip, then I feel, I feel pressured to like get really excited when it drops and I'm sure that I'll be happy but I don't I don't really uh, uh, I don't know it's 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 a mountain we'll get it and then we'll move on to the next one um pre-made custom fine do, 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 do. mostly I like farming these because it's a great thing to do while I sit and chat with you guys <laughs> this is this this is my favorite part this is the part that makes me feel like I have friends um, originally I rolled Alliance, so I wouldn't be tempted to make a ton of Blood Elves. Now Blizzard does me dirty by making me give into the void. There you go. Uh, Hazel, let me confide in you. I'm so angry. I got Experiment 12B today. I already have it. I still haven't gotten either from Deathwing, though. And <laughs> that's rough. That really sucks. You just got a Bile-Tooth Nasher. This tree must be a lucky one. Congratulations on your new adorable buddy. Your adorable Nashy, Nashy Bile, bile Buddy. Did invincible droop. Invincible has not drooped yet. You should wear your scarf thing more. They're coming back into fashion over here. This thing? Um, I don't know if they're coming back into fashion. I wear this, I wear these when I am, like, to pull my bangs out of my face if I am doing my, um, skincare. Because I have to keep my hair out of my face while I'm, like, putting on all of this stuff that's not going to stop me from getting old. Uh, but it's a little bit of an effort to get them on over my bangs, and I don't really like pulling my bangs all the way back on camera. I've just gotten so used to seeing my face with bangs that I don't really like it without them. It's fine. It's it's not a problem. I'll do it when I'm like going out or shopping or going to the fish store or whatever, but it's uh Huh, I like my bangs. Okay, so we are removing the monk and making sure we are raid normal twenty-five. Uh, I hope Iron Dwarf is unlockable soon. I want it so bad. Do you know when that will happen? 
Dark Iron Dwarf, as far as I know. Hang on. As far as... Mm, I think Dark Iron Dwarf, along with Magheart Orc, are the launch BFA races. So they should, theoretically, I could be wrong, be available early BFA, like within the first patch. Maybe not the first day, but you should be able to do some BFA content to unlock them. Uh, first time watching a stream viewer, so I'll see how this works out. Uh, well, welcome, Can't Look See Me. Do you have any of the world boss mounts? I don't know if I do. I've never really gotten into farming world bosses, and I couldn't really tell you why, aside from the fact that it stresses me out trying to find it up. You know, you can hate in the Lich King as much as you want, but at least he's already, at least he's always here. <laughs> he's never he's never stood me up. I've never gotten to the top of him being like, um, had something to do, had somewhere to be. I was gonna text you, but then I just like didn't. Sorry. Uh, why are you doing a 25 normal? This is Heroic. You zone in a 25 normal, and then you raise the difficulty to 25 Heroic once you're in, and doing this allows you to maintain the original lockout. So I haven't re-cleared this raid in months. It's been quite a few weeks since I've actually cleared this raid. I'm just extending the same lockout. I have a video detailing the specifics of the lockout sharing method that involves that. There we go. Start that up. We are running on Heroic. This is Heroic. Look, there's a little skull up here. Dark Iron is available when you advance the war campaign. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know I know it's something that we have we have the requirements available for. I just haven't looked at it. I should. That would be a good thing. Do you have to keep going back to your lockout character to remake the group after logging your farm character? So for a week or two we did. But the new way, the new way to avoid that, and this is something that is not detailed in that video because I didn't know back then, because it wasn't necessary back then. When you finish the run, don't leave the group. Log straight onto your next character, join, and the group will still be listed. Join on your next character, wait until lead passes, kick the one that you just ran on, very important, kick the one that you just ran on before you walk in, then, wa then change your difficulty, and then walk in, change it back, and you're good. So just log straight over, and then after lead passes on your next character, kick the one that you just ran with. That's how you do it. Otherwise, yes, you could go back and relist it. I was doing that for a couple of weeks, but this way is definitely better. How do I do so much damage in this death knight? He doesn't have any gear. Wait, wait a minute. Where did I get gear? I mean, it's not a lot of gear, but it's like more gear than I have with my warlock, for example. Where did I get this stuff? Oh, it's just a, uh, just a. <laughs> this, this is the first character that I leveled that I played, so I guess I must just have had a lot of uh, unsullied stuff hanging out. Uh, if you don't re-clear though, you don't get to hear good news, everybody. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> More excited about trolls if they weren't locked behind war campaign achievements. Which magic are you trying to get? We're looking for invincible. Um, uh, finally could catch one of your streams. Did anyone else find the reaction to a bum bag as funny as I did last season? It's a very good idea. Thanks, Hazel. It's gonna drop and I'm gonna be sad. I wouldn't be that sad if it drops. We've tried. Um, here you you, you guys can't see my tooltip because of because of the fish cam. See, we're at 76. This next one is going to be attempt number 77. You know, it would be okay if it dropped. It wouldn't be unfairly early. It would be early compared to a lot of people, but it would be all right. It'd be all right. Uh, bum bag stumped me for a few until it clicked. I've just never heard them called that in my life around here. Oh man. I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to buy that spider when I get my two million. It's gonna be hard. Maybe I'll, maybe when I have it, I'll, I'll get on a stream and then I'll, I'll do a vote. And you guys are all going to tell me to wait for the long boy. And I'll be like, you know, you're right. You're right. The problem that I have and the reason why I don't do more polls helping me decide stuff is because I am, I, I have a hard time respecting the poll. Like I'll do a poll and I'll be like, hmm, valid input. And then I'll just do what I want. So I've started to just not do those. Um, with the exception of stuff like the baking streams. We always did what the baking stream polls were voted for. But uh, like when it's just deciding on something to do. I almost never put those polls up anymore because I know I'm just gonna do whatever I want anyways. <laughs> Which is awful, but that's why I don't I don't I don't do those anymore. Um, do you still plan a main in the Shadow Priest with the changes going on? I absolutely do. I'm not actually terribly concerned about the changes. I like a lot of them. I'm very excited about being able to do uh, reasonable um, burst AoE. Not even burst AoE, just like AoE on little things. It'll be good. Ten of ten, you'll get invincible this run. You think? Have you ever built a speed set in a character? Never. Not once. I have never done that. I tend to be a little bit averse to building extraneous sets. I've also never built, like, time-walking sets. No bueno there. We have another character to run on, though. We got one more. 
Never built a time walking set. Like, I'll, I'll do different sets for different types of, like, rating on my main, but... No, I never did the speed thing. Can you go, like, significantly faster? Are they pretty good? Watch it drop. I got spider. I don't regret it. I'll get long boy eventually, too. See, that's what I'm thinking. It's not like I'm choosing spider or long boy. I'm just choosing which one first. And I feel like the spider will be less cool after long boy, you know? But you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride this. I'm going to get the spider. And then I'm going to be, like, looking at the long boy vendor being like, wow, I'm two million gold behind. Just so I could ride around on this big bug. It's not even that cool. I'd vote no for the spider map because I seriously hate spiders. Oh, you're not alone there. Um, doing what you like is one of the perks of self-employment. It's true. My boss makes me work a lot of hours, but she is very uh, lenient about tea breaks. <laughs> they keep changing my favorite class priest. There's videos of people with speed sets going at like Mach 10. It's nuts. Oh, that might be fun just for a video then. That might be fun just to see how, how good you can make it. But it would be it would kind of be like a lot of work. Uh, Preacher thinks Shadow Priest has been broken. Preacher. Preach? I'll have to check that out. Um, there's definitely some changes going in, but the other thing is that you can't really worry too much about numbers yet. I'll worry about numbers once it goes in. Once it goes in. Longboy is so much more useful than the spider. It is, and that's what's making this decision hard. If Longboy was just a Longboy with no Auctioneer, I would 100% get the spider first. But he's got an Auctioneer. I want it. I just need to be, get better at making gold. I've been kind of lazy about it. I've only really been making gold recently through order hall missions, um, a little bit of world quests. I haven't even really been flipping stuff. Granted, it's not a great time in the expansion to flip stuff. Um, any day now you could buy an epic and be like, well, nobody wants this anymore. It's basically outdated. And um, trade goods are also starting to kind of fall through the floor. It's not the easiest time for me to make gold. I'm sure there's ways to do it. Where am I? Why am I out here? How did this happen to me? Uh... So we join, and because I didn't leave the group, it's still up, because the leader was online recently. Now we just wait for lead to pass over. At 2 million, I'd cry partying with all that gold. Why would I pay 1 million gold for a spider when I smack them whenever I see them in real life? Oh man, I don't, I don't, I try, and I, I ha, I, I'm not going to say I never kill bugs. I definitely do if it comes to it. But if it's possible for me to get it outside, I often will. Partly because I want to give it another chance or let it die outside where it belongs. But partly because I don't, when you kill them, it's gross, you know? Then you have bug guts, and they're on your well, wall, or they're on your, it's really gross. And the bugs that get inside around here are pretty, I mean, they're not like Australia big, but they're pretty, like, they're beetles. We get these big flying beetles, and they're not dangerous, and they're not mean. They don't seem to breed inside, they just get inside during the summer, so I just put them back outside, and then it's fine. But if I was gonna try and squish one, it would be a mess. And the thought's really gross, and I... I'm surprisingly squeamish. I don't know why it's surprising. I don't know if anybody expected me to be, like, really strong-stomached, but I'm not. Um, where did you get the cup you're using and your teacups from again? I completely forgot. So this one you can't have, um, because it is one of a kind. I painted it myself, which is why it looks trash. Um, it was just a mug painting place that I went to in Victoria. It's like a stein. I think it was supposed to be for beer, but it's ceramics. So I'm like, this is a tea mug now. I painted, like, the inside pink... The outside purple, I put some trees on it. But the other ones, the, the nice ones, the pretty teacups, largely are from teaware.house. Those ones ship from China. Um, two things to keep in mind if you are shopping for, like, tiny teacups from there, um, which I highly recommend because they're amazing. Two things to keep in mind. One, check the volume. Some of them, you say, hey, this is $3 for a really nice looking teacup. Sometimes they are this big. There are teacups that size, and unless you want one that big, know what size you're getting. Look up the look up the capacity of them and kind of try and get a feel for how big that is. Thing number two is that because they ship from China, you will need to pay some amount of shipping. I think I usually pay like 10 or 15 bucks for shipping. Just factor that in when you're shopping. And it's going to take a while to get to you. It's going to take, I think, usually like four weeks, I think, for me. Four or five weeks to get them. I have to usually forget about them, and it's a pleasant surprise when they show up. But having said that, they have never broken one in, in shipping. They package them extremely well. Every single one of them has been just as beautiful as it looked online. And I love them. I, I have not broken one yet. I have them all. They clog up my cupboards and they're precious. Okay. So I have become the leader. I'm uninviting this guy. Way difficulty normal. What class do you recommend for BFA? Whatever one you want. <laughs> Whatever one you want. Whatever is going to be fun for you to play. I can't tell you which is going to do the best or the worst damage because tuning's not finished yet. I can't tell you what you're going to find the most fun because you're not me. Um, if you just want me to tell you what to play, I'm going to tell everybody to play Shadow Priest. 
why not? Shadow priests for days. I don't care if they're broken. We're all gonna be shadow priests. But aside from that, really, whatever you like. There's no wrong answer. There's no right answer. Play what you want. Uh, it's best on warriors. They're the fastest class outside of a very specific build for demon hunter. Are they? Warriors? Really? Warriors? Really? I mean, like, when you can charge this stuff, sure. Man, I would not have thought that. Warriors were always kind of, like, on my list as one of the slowest classes. Uh, love spiders, had tarantulas for a long time. All of my hunter pets are spiders. Uh, yeah. Tarantula pets are neat in an observational capacity. I think it's neat looking at other people's. I don't particularly want one myself. Although I have shrimp now and shrimp are basically tiny little water bugs. <laughs> but they're cute tiny little water bugs. They're cute. And I can start, I'm starting, I, I thought I would, I, I haven't named them because I have eight of them and they're very hard to tell apart. But I'm starting to be able to tell them apart. I have two ladies in there and six boys. And the two ladies, like they're distinct looking because one of them is perfect. She's like really red, really great coloring lovely shrimp and then the other one a little like she's still very red but she's she's not quite as great and her upper half is actually a little bit of a different color from her bottom half i wasn't gonna name them but for whatever reason i've started calling them sheila and layla i don't know why um but yeah they're basically bugs but they're water bugs and they're little 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 shrimpy dudes guys i am dying to get so i and i'm not going to show you guys any of this until it's done I am withholding all, not that anybody cares but me, but I, I'm not, I'm not posting pictures and I'm not doing any videos until it's done because it's not done yet. But I'm so excited to put fish in my 20 gallon tank that I'm setting up and it's not ready yet. And I know I'm doing the right thing by doing a proper fishless cycle with ammonia. I've been tracking it. It's progressing perfectly fine. The seeding did speed it up a bit. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to establish a colony of beneficial bacteria that can process fish waste into a less harmful form to make it safe to add fish to reduce their stress when you add them in. Um, it's called cycling a tank and I'm doing it without fish, which is the more humane way to do it because when you do it with fish, you can cause them problems. You can shorten their lifespan. You can stress them out. You can give them ammonia burns. It's very nasty. And it's just so hard to be patient. It's going to be another couple of weeks before I can get fish. I just have to wait for the bacteria to finish its job. It takes a while. You just got to be patient and I'm not patient. And it's so hard, but it's going to be so cool. It's going to... I want to finish... It's so hard to look at that tank, because I've got some plants in there now. It's starting to look good. I'm getting more plants in there next week. And I just, I just want... Like, I'll sit there and watch it and be like, there are no fish in this tank. I'm so excited for when there are fish in this tank. And I know why I'm waiting, and I'm still going to wait. It's just so... Oh, no, 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 Stay away from me. All right, we're good. Kitty, you want up? You want up? Come here. Come here. You guys have cats? Cats are great. I love cats. Getting a cat was everything I thought it would be. I've had this cat for a couple years now. It is everything I ever dreamed it would be. I got the best one. I got the best cat. She doesn't have any of the problems that some other cats do. She's not really mean. She's not mean at all. She doesn't try to escape. She doesn't uh, have accidents outside of her box. She's always used her box. She's not a terribly pukey cat. Um, she doesn't wake us up in the morning now that she has an auto feeder. She's just, she's just cuddly and sweet and cute. And the most annoying thing that she does is this, which I will show you in a second, which is when she flops down on my desk, all adorable with her hand, head on my mouse pad. And she'll like grab that hand sometimes. And it's really hard to work. <laughs> she'll, she'll get in my, oh, no, I need to, this tripod's not set up quite properly. I need to twist that bar. Which way do I twist? That way? <laughs> she's so cute. Ugh. I have two cats, they puke all over the place. She's like a mini dog. I love my hedgehog. 20 gallon tank should be named Bashir. Ooh, that's a good idea. Um, I love new fish and tanks. I'm so excited and I'm so impatient. I wanna do, I was, I should have been filming this whole thing. I keep telling myself that I'm not really gonna make fish videos because I'm not a fish YouTuber. I'm a wow YouTuber. I need to spend my time making wow YouTube videos. I'll probably make a section at least for the vlog. I don't know. The thing is, Sometimes, and I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes I'm aware that because more than two people watch me, more than two and less than five, but like some people watch me. And sometimes if I get really excited about something, that can be contagious and it can make other people want to do things, which is really cool. But it means that I have a responsibility to show people how to do something responsibly. 
Because if I just, like, got a bunch of snails and I kept them in a bucket, and other people went and got snails and then they put them in a bucket, that's kind of on me. Are you alright, cat? I just told everybody how you don't puke. Please don't puke on my desk. You got a little cough? She had a little hairball situation last night. It wasn't very- it wasn't bad. Are you alright? <laughs> oh. Come on. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk to start here. You alright? I'm gonna pick you up really, real quick. And, uh... I just, I moved her to the tile, just in case she did have an accident, so it'd be easier to clean up. And I petted her for a second, and she seems fine now. She didn't, she didn't have a hairball. I think she's just working on it. Uh, let's see. Maybe do an hour record of your fish tank with sound so we can have our own fish tank. She has a knife? I have a knife? I don't think I have a knife. I mean, rip cat, she's dead. I don't think anybody would mind if you made fish videos. Personally, enjoy your fish talk. There are, de I, I appreciate that. That's very sweet. There are definitely people that mind. <laughs> there are definitely people to mind. Um, well, that looks like it's a no mount today. You know what I want to do real quick is I want to go run um, real quick. I want to run. What do you call that place with the with the with the trolls? Zolgrub for a raptor mount. Real quick, just once. No big deal. Mount drop, mount drop. Hazel, do you think it'll be a good idea to make a monk and BFA? Sure. I like I, I, I can't I can't really express to you guys enough that I don't know much about balance and if I did know anything it wouldn't really be valid. And that outside of priest I don't have a lot of experience with the new playstyles, so I'm just not a great person to tell you whether or not you should play something. I don't think anybody is. I think the only person who should tell you what to play is your guild leader. If you are in a cutting edge raiding guild. And if you are in a cutting edge raiding guild, you probably already know what you're gonna do. So I think, you know, you just, you just gotta follow your heart. And I know it's hard to pick, and I know it feels like it's a big deal. And to some extent it is. But, yeah. oh, life, not Kaifer knife. <laughs> what can you do with golden coins from the Lich King? Golden coins. Golden coins? What add-on shows attempts? That is rarity. Rarity is showing the attempts. I'm gonna check out my cat real quick. Thank you for waiting. Kitty's all fine. We're good. <laughs> that question does come up a lot though. Like a lot. So I'm thinking of trying to put together a video just talking about not necessarily what you should play, like not going to tell you like the answer, but give you guys some criteria to think about, um, some considerations to make when you're choosing your BFA class. <laughs> uh, titles and mounts your character does not have. I think you might want all the things. All the things is pretty good for that. Um, that is this add-on right here, so you can I can see that for I don't know if it does titles I know it does mounts. 
But for example, mounts, I can see that I have 76% of available mounts, I have 98% of available pets, and when I want to see which ones I don't have, click on that and I can see that the two beast pets I don't have are the Thunder Die Horn and the Death Watch Hatchling. I need to do some more pet PvP. Okay. I am heading to... And yes, the Warlock does look quite lighty. It's because that's just, like, I haven't mogged her. That's just the default gear that she got in when she was finished leveling. Like the Unsullied stuff, I think. The Void Elf Warlock. Looks like a priest, for sure, yeah. Oh, the Mark of Sanctification, what do you do with that? So those things... Um, those things, you can exchange them for tier gear if you still need them. If you already have all of the transmog sets and you don't need, like, the tier sets anymore, then you just vendor them. I mean, you could exchange them and then wait for the cooldown to come up and then vendor them and get a little bit more gold out of them, but who has time for that? Not me. My bags are, like, really clean because I dumped a bunch of stuff in my bank when I was making yesterday's video, and now I don't have any bear tartar. Oh well. Too bad. Not a problem. Where am I going? What's the fastest way to this? Karazhan? Karazhan, yeah. Now that I'm all, all, already all the way over here. Where do I buy transmog from ICC? Correct me if I'm wrong, please chat, but I want to say... I think you can do it in in Dalaran. I think you can do it in North Rindalaran, Old Dalaran. Pretty sure. Okay, so I'm heading to Karazan over here. Simple armor, really helpful for mounts, pets, and toys. Uh, when's the pre-patch supposed to come in? So, no specific date yet for it, nothing official. We're, my guess is mid-July. My guess is mid-July. So, like, one of these two Tuesdays is, is where I'm sticking it. Because that puts it about a month before the launch, which is about right. It puts it about a month from when it went on the PTR, which is about right-ish, approximately. Mid-July-ish. I don't know. Could be tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow. Could be tomorrow. No way to know. So normally I made a healing class. Now I panic when I don't have a healing button. How do you not get panicked with different classes? Um... I've never experienced that. I would say that if you're if you're looking for a button that you're used to having and you don't have it, figure out which situations you find yourself looking for that button in, and then figure out what your alternate response is instead. Like if you're playing, I'm hearing weird sounds today. Uh, let's say what's what's a class that does not have a healing button, like a warrior. Warriors don't have healing buttons. Like I I'm playing a warrior. I don't have a healing button, and I've gotten into trouble. Instead of pressing a heal button. I would figure out, well, maybe I need to stun this thing, or maybe I need to walk away, or maybe I need to do more damage to kill it more quickly. Like, figure out what your alternate plan is, and then just practice using that. That was the biggest thing I learned about PvP, is that being good at Arena was mostly practicing, like, a series of routines. Like, this is what I'm going to do if I'm under fire. This is what I'm going to do if I think I'm about to get CC'd. This is what I'm going to do in XYZ situation. Just making, like, basically a little playbook of routines that you execute when a thing happens or a situation happens so that instead of trying to figure out exactly what button you press in any given moment you're trying to identify the situation and then figure out which routine is most appropriate for it and the reason why that's really good is because those routines you can practice them to get them down in muscle memory i would actually just go to the arena in the open world um not even in a group and practice those sequences of buttons like i would practice the sequence of buttons that i would press when I was under fire. I would practice the sequence of buttons I would press when I needed to burst heal somebody. And do that so that you can do those without thinking about it. It's just a matter of doing it enough time so you don't have to think about it, and then kind of simplifying the situation down into which which routine do I need to execute here? And then fi just figure out which one you need to replace it with. What am I doing? I'm doing this dungeon on Hurok, because that's the only way you can. Okay, so that was kind of an unrelated ramble. Vendors in the instance for the exchange stuff. Oh, neat. Mail vendor, cloth vendor, etc. Gotcha. When you vendored your weapon before every run? Uh, you mean me? <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. But, uh, was that like a thing? Would you vendor your weapon and then buy it back and that was cheaper than repairing it or something? I've never heard of that. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, please not tomorrow. I still need to complete field medic. Yeah, no, it would be, it would be hilarious and awful and very unlikely if it was tomorrow. Uh, 10th of July in the UK, 11th of July in the EU. Was that announced? Did I miss it? Did I, did I miss it? Eesh. Favorite mountain pet combo. I really like running around with the Elucid Nightmare Mount and then the Nightmare Whelpling pet. The, uh, I really like that Nightmare Whelp. It's one of those, you can kind of, uh, you can't really see. I have one, I have a plushie on the wall behind me. And, uh, I like it when my, my plushies match my in-game pets and they also match my, like, in-game chosen class aesthetic. 
So that's that's where that Nightmare Wolf really comes in. Also, they're hard to get now. They're, I don't think they're sold. Actually, most of the plushies aren't sold in the store. The reason why I actually just randomly picked up the Azure plushie fairly recently with the last stuff that I ordered from Blizzard was because I'm starting to realize that if I don't buy things, they go off the store forever and I can never find them again. So if I want a plushie, I should probably just buy it because these things tend to be limited. They used to, like, I think it's more recent that they've started really phasing stuff out from the gear store. Before, I remember, there wasn't that many different things, but they were all available. And it's not that way anymore. So I'm, I'm a little... And maybe this was their plan all along, but I definitely pulled the trigger a little bit faster if there's a plushie that I want, because I don't know how long it's going to be available for. Uh, healing class, easy to play or ultra hard? I wouldn't say it's ultra hard. I'd say it's a different skill set. It's going to take us some practice. A little time to get used to. Well, that is a no-go there. I don't, I don't believe that I've only tried five times. I don't think it's counting all of my attempts, but well, what, what do you do? Okay. All right. Nice tea, like honey and chamomile. Favorite tea? I mean, if you're looking for that honey and chamomile style tea, I would say mint is very nice and relaxing. Um, my overall favorite teas are probably poor teas. They have like the right blend of energy to get me through my work afternoons without having like a huge caffeine crash or anything like that. So I am going to do our customary, let's see here. I'm going to do our customary, uh, I don't know if it's customary, I don't do this every time, but I do need to feed my fish. So I'm gonna do that on, on camera actually. And then we will be done. So let's blow him up a little bit. This is Fleta, he's a betta. As you can see, he's a very active boy. That's just his life. He's just like that. Make sure that we can see the top a little bit because that is up where he eats. And on Tuesdays, he gets betta bits. He gets frozen brine shrimp on Wednesdays and he gets bloodworms on Saturdays. On Tuesdays, this isn't an Aquion bottle, but they are North Fin betta bits. Take off his lid. Uh, you might notice I actually added up here in the filter. Uh, it's a little bit of pothos up there. Uh, just to help with his water quality and also because he, I, I could and I decided I wanted to. I put that in all of my tanks now. There we go. He eats like a shark. <laughs> he's definitely fun to feed. I've definitely had better fish that were way pickier about their food than he is, but he's, he is all about it. All about it. In any case, that is the show done for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will be back on Friday with time walking. I may or may not be back before then with that beta dungeon thing that I said that I was gonna do over the weekend that I didn't. I'm gonna try and make some videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I have not yet tried the sleep tea, no. Um, most of the time, by the time I get sleepy enough to, for it to be time for the sleep tea, I'm like so sleepy that I just go to bed. I need to find a time for it. Thank you guys. And I hope you guys have the most, the most awesome of days.